go money talk Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today I want to talk about everything going on with MP materials, the price action, and all of the latest news. So before we go ahead and get into it, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It is an easy free way to help out. So thank you so, so much for the support. So let's get right into this. So if you haven't heard of MP materials, it is a stock in a company that I do cover and talk a lot about on my channel. So I do have a couple other good videos explaining more about the company overall and stuff like that. So this is going to be a video based on the impression that you are kind of familiar with the company let's take a look at this price action here so you saw the high top of this company in last august and september and ever since then it's been in a slow decline and we had another high here that just kind of continued that trend we did have a higher high as opposed to right here but ever since late february early march it just seems like things have not been going well for the company so that's what we're going to talk about so we were at about 36 dollars and now we are at $20.50. It was down today on Thursday, May 4th. So that is when we're talking about this. And more recently, since the middle of April in the last couple of weeks, I mean, it is just kind of a downward trend and pretty significant. Lots of red here in the volume and well, well, well below all three of the SMA lines here. The 20 day, the 50 day, and the 200 day is still above $30. And if this blue line here, which measures lower lows if this was in a channel it would still have to go down to about right here it's not looking the greatest for mp just based on the price action so let's talk a little bit about what's going on with the company so first things first is MP Materials is going to report Q1 earnings and that is today after the bell and those estimates for the revenues is 90.9 million and that is suggesting a 45% year over year decline. So the consensus mark for earnings is pegged at 19 cents per share including a 62% plunge from the first quarter of 2022. So these are the estimates about what's about to come out. Looking back a little bit, MP Materials reported a year-over-year -year improvement in earnings despite a fall in revenues for Q4. So this chart shows that right here. And revenues and earnings did beat the Zach's estimate, and it outpaced the Zach's estimate, surprise being almost 68%. So factors to note. They are producing a lot of rare earths and concentrate, which is the highest annual production in the United States in Mountain Pass. So they are producing a lot of stuff. So that is that is going well. Shipment timings are getting better and higher ore feeds were largely offset by lower ore feed grades compared to prior year period. So higher volumes and realized prices drove a 59% improvement in revenues in 2022. So that's just kind of getting you caught up on where it is but really because of the estimates that came out about a week or so ago i i think that this has to do a lot with the decline of mp because whenever the estimates came out it was a bigger downward turn from there so people are not expecting the earnings to be good and kind of sold and again just kind of looking at this on seeking alpha uh, everything is down year over year but it has mp has beaten eps estimates 100 percent of the time and revenue estimates 100 percent of the time so not the best going on here so now let's take a look at what seeking alpha has to say so when you go through all these it's confusing because you see one hold one strong buy and one sell and the factor grades aren't much better a c an a minus a b minus an f a c minus so it's a little bit all over the place but if you look at the last year it is down almost 50 percent 49.47 percent in the last six months down 35 percent and in the last month we are down almost 26 percent so that is what it is looking like on seeking alpha so let's take a look at the rare earth industry and something that may also be a factor so they're saying china's rare earth industry has a raw materials problem china already dominates the world supply chains of rare earth metals so it is increasingly worried about securing enough raw materials to feed its vast industrial appetite but china's grip on rare earth production has slipped so i feel like this would be a good thing for mp if you know anything about mp and what they're trying to do they're trying to bring us all back to the usa and do everything here in america and not have to outsource anything to china so i would think 
think that this would be a positive thing for MP because the imports of rare earths have grown, jumping nearly 40% in 2021. And again, this is a pretty significant drop here. Its share of global mining output fell to 58% in 2021 from a high of 98% in 2010. So in just 11 years. So that is a pretty extreme factor there. So now let's take a look at the actual numbers I hope you have a better understanding of how we got here now with the preview and everything. So the Q1 non-GAAP EPS of 27 cents beats by 8 cents. Revenue of almost 96 million beats by 6.15 million, although it was down 42.4% year over year. Shares have risen about 2% and REO sales and production volumes of both over 10,000, 10,200 and 10,600 metrics tons respectively. Let's see if we can find any more information here. So we talked about the production adjusted net income of 37.4, adjusted EBITDA of 58.7 million, diluted EPS of 20 cents and adjusted diluted EPS of 27 cents. So James Lenitsky says, MP continue to advance the multiple streams of our business during the quarter despite weaker recent commodity pricing. At Mountain Pass, we sustained strong production and sales volumes while simultaneously commissioning additional stage two circuits and moving closer to producing separated rare earth materials. In addition, construction and engineering of our stage three magnet facility continues at a rapid pace bringing the restoration of full magnet supply chain closer to fruition. So again, this is talking about keeping everything in the United States, you know, no more having to outsource to China and stuff like that. So obviously that would be a good thing for MP. So now let's head over to tip ranks and see what they are saying in the stock analysis. So it is five, which is neutral. Analyst consensus is a strong buy. Bloggers are bullish. Hedge funds have decreased 1.3 million shares since last quarter. Crowds are negative. News has been neutral. Technicals are negative. What about the analyst? So it is a strong buy. Six buy, two hold, zero sell. And the high is $45. The low is 30. So at a price of $20.51 right now, that gives us an up side of 87.13% for MP. So overall, not too shabby for MP. So thank you so much for joining us for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video. Here comes the money. Here we go. Money talk.